The Templates group will let you work with template files or OVA files. An OVA file is like an OWS file, except instead of having your entire website, the OVA file contains only one page. This is helpful if you need to save a single page, like when you're creating a template, or if you'd like to export a page from one website and bring it into another site. To open an OVA file, choose Open and navigate to the page you'd like to open. The page will open a new tab in the work area and will be added to the page list. Saving a single page gives you several options. Save as template will save your page as a standard OVA file ready to be opened by anyone else using Web Studio. Save as HTML email will create an HTML file to publish on your website along with all the graphics and media associated with that file. A dialog box will explain these steps. After you've read it, click OK. You'll be prompted to enter your website homepage address. You can either use your URL, or if you don't want to clutter up your root website folder, you can specify a dedicated folder for HTML emails. Next, choose a place on your hard drive to save the HTML file. This file is a normal HTML file that contains links to the graphics and media to your HTML email. You can open this file in a web browser to preview what the email would look like. If you regularly make HTML emails, maybe you'd like to save in a special folder for these files. Next, Web Studio will bring up the FTP upload dialog where you can specify where to publish the file. You should publish to the same directory that you specified in the first dialog box. In this case, we're using a directory for HTML emails called emails. After the page is published, you can use your web browser to view the published page. If you're using Internet Explorer, navigate to the page, and from the Tools menu, choose Mail and News, and then Send Page. It will open a new HTML email message with Outlook. If you make a lot of HTML emails, it might be a good idea to use a second Web Studio project for them. This way, it'll be much easier to manage them and copy and paste between pages. Web Studio will manage all the pages and files for you. The next item in the Save As menu is Save As Graphic. This will save the current page as a graphic file, which you can email to someone or print. This is useful if you're working with a client remotely or if you use Web Studio to create presentations, signs, or flyers destined for print. If you're doing print work, you can use the Page Layout tab to make guides for 8.5 by 11 or A4 paper. Add to Gallery is useful if you want to add your own pages to the template gallery for use in other projects. To the template gallery. This can be used not only for templates, but for any page you'd like to share between project. But for any page you'd like to share between project. To enable Add to Gallery, open the Template tab in the gallery. Choose Add to Gallery and the page will be added to the gallery along with the thumbnail of the page. You can also use a subgallery if you'd like to send multiple versions of pages to the gallery to test new ideas, like a design scrapbook.